Hey, how you doing? This is Sam here from samnuka.com and I want to thank you so much for stopping by and watching this training video. In this particular video, I want to discuss with you the know, like, and trust principle, right? This is literally the make and break of your business. And what the four particular things that I wanted to cover in this video, in fact, I want to cover five, okay? So make sure you hang around till the end, is number one, the know, number two, the like, number three, the trust, number four, stacking your deck and number five i want to show you what to do next all right so let's get stuck in to this training the know like and trust principle breakdown so what is the know like and trust principle now for me it's pretty obvious when you break down the words individually but how do they come together how does the know like trust principle come together to make it a factor to make it an actual principle with uh, online business to the degree that is the that it is the make and break of your business now for me it is honestly the difference between the success and failure right and there's there's a reason for example why the com big companies like nike and adidas utilize this principle right they they embody it in everything that they do in order to help you uh, in, in order to ensure that you know like and trust their brand and what it is that they actually do right so this is a huge factor especially for us especially for us small like solopreneurs and small business owners and even more so for us who are building a brand online the reason why it's so important is because without being known right what we're putting together is almost irre irrelevant. Without being liked, people aren't going to follow us. And without being trusted, no one is going to buy us, meaning we cannot make any sort of impact on the world. And yes, I'm being legit in, in from the space from which I'm speaking from, that without the no like and trust principle, there is no way that you can make an impact. And that is a big part of the reason why many people get into uh, business is because they want to make a positive impact on the world. I know for, for me, yes, I want to build my dream lifestyle, but I also want to make a difference in people's lives. And you know, that's the reason why I do things like this, like putting together training videos, blog posts, value posts on Facebook and stuff like that. You know, instead of just sitting around and hoping that everything will be better, I want to make a difference. So let's really get stuck into this. The no like and trust principle, the no. If you're unknown, your business, your product is almost irrelevant. Now, I know that might seem a little bit harsh because obviously you put in a lot of effort, a lot of time. You like to think that, well, hey, look, you know, it's got to mean something, even if it's like a moral victory. Well, that's great. That benefits you maybe. But how many people have you made a difference for in terms of what it is that you've actually put together? If no one knows what your business is, there is a reason why they celebrate so much the best selling author as opposed to the actual best author, right? Like who, who knows what who, uh, the, the best writer of 2015 is, right? Probably no one, but who is the best selling author of 2015? A ton of people know because they've actually bought the books, right? <laughs> selling what we have is a moral obligation that we have to the people who follow us, our customers, our clients, our followers, right? People who connect with us. It is our moral obligation to get our product out there. And that's why we must get in the know because we have to get it out there in order to actually make a difference with what it is that we're putting together. Otherwise, it's just virtual uh it's just a virtual library right that nobody knows about how can you gain any goodness from any book or any course or any home study um, or any training material if nobody knows about it right so the free ways to build um the no principle which is honestly what i focus on right because i want to learn i want to master i want to create excellence around the free ways of building a business so that i can teach people who don't have much money how to go about doing it okay and i will talk about paid in a second but i'm just saying free is a way that will help more people than paid right so the free ways are um i use youtube obviously that's where you're watching this video or at least you probably are otherwise you'd be watching it in the last point being the blog so um and also i put together audio so you might actually hear this on SoundCloud, for example, or maybe even on a podcast one day. And I use social media, right? So I use Facebook and Instagram uh, more specifically. But I do also touch on LinkedIn. And I also touch on Twitter once in a while. And I get onto Google Plus as well. Why? Because these are ways that I can build my no. Now, I'm not saying come out and, and attack, you know, 10 different channels at once. Hell no. That's just, honestly, that's just a stupid idea. What you really want to do is come out and focus on one and do it until you do it well and then get on to the next one and build. Eventually, you'll be doing four or five or six things just like I am and you can actually touch on all of those things you know, every single day 
without too much effort because you've already mastered it. You know what to do back to front without even really trying, okay? So the free ways to build it are YouTube, like for, through, through training videos, right? Social media through putting together value posts or, or even live videos these days is the newest, hottest things. And I and I do that as well on my fan page. I put together uh, live videos on different business, uh, business topics. I will break this topic down, for example, and do a live broadcast for the remainder of the week, right? For the next three or four days, if you will. Now, the audio, you know, is something you can either do SoundCloud or podcast or any other channel you want for that matter. Just help get the message out there. And blogging, right? I put together a blog post on topics that I have training videos around. So there is a blog post to this if you prefer to read that has broken this down like even, you know, further steps down, if you will. So those are my free ways, my favorite free ways of getting it out there. You could also obviously do... Um, forums for example is one that i could list here but it's not what i do so i'm not going to promote it as if i know what i'm talking about okay so but forums is another one that's really really powerful the pa the paid ways you can you can build uh, your no factor is you can use social media right like instagram's got advertising twitter's got it uh, linkedin has got it uh, Facebook has got it, right? Where you can actually pay for advertising. You need to make sure that your funnel, right? And your steps and your products and your content is all aligned and dialed in before you really start diving deeply into paid because you can lose your hair, right? You could lose your hair, you know, quicker than a jiffy. You could literally like sign up and all your money could be gone in the next hour if you're not careful. So all I'm saying is that, hey, make sure you get the right thing out there, okay? So you could use the same thing with forums, right? Paid advertising with them, pay them, pay them to get a banner up, right? Pay them to get a, a text, a clickable text on the forum to help get your message out there. You can go into search engines, obviously. You know, Google being the most popular and therefore the most expensive. Um, Bing is is uh, powerful, but it is a small channel. Um, you've got Yahoo as well. And so there's a number of different things that you can get onto to help you pay away in terms of the no factor. And here's what happens. A lot of people that come along, and this is like in terms of like the big guys, the people who make seven plus figures, I'm talking about millions and multimillionaires. What they do is they come along and they figure out this game. They figure out how to go about providing the most value, right? Helping build their brand to the point that they actually know what they're doing. Then they dial it up with paid advertising, right? Uh, so for example, like me, I would I would never put $1,000 into a niche that I know absolutely nothing about and doesn't know anything about me, right? I would make sure that I knew what I was talking about, that I had the right product, the right pricing, right? The right content, the right audience, you know? Now, I'm not saying that everything needs to be perfect. Obviously, that's never going to happen. What I'm trying to say is that you you do need to build it up first. Make sure you know your, your stuff before you get into paid advertising because you don't want to work for an entire week. You don't want to spend 60, 70, 80 hours in the office and then lose it in a day and get zero dollars return, right? I would rather you spend six or seven or eight hours a week building your business on the side using like YouTube and social media, you know, podcasts and blogging to build it up until you really figured out what it's all about, start putting it together and then invest, you know, $10, $15 a day to help build you in a brand, okay? So the no like and trust principle, the like, okay? So it's a known fact that people buy from those they know, like, and trust the most, right? There is a reason why you see the likes of like um, uh, Nike and Adidas. You know, everyone knows their brand. Everyone knows them. Everyone knows McDonald's. Everyone knows KFC. But they continue to advertise. Why? Because they want to be continue. They want to continue to be known as per our first principle, and then they want to be liked. And so what they do is they put together very positive um, advertising to help kind of lure you in. You don't even realize what you're actually watching, but you're you're watching like a beautiful girl having an amazing time in the in the sun at the beach, you know, with a hot boyfriend and enjoying this drink. Uh, coincidentally. Well, it's not a coincidence at all. What they're trying to do is that they're trying to get you to associate positivity with their brand. They want you to like them without even realizing, okay? So what we need to do is we don't want to sell all the time in terms of what do we do with personal branding. We don't want to be selling all the time, right? People love buying. People hate being sold to, right? What you want to do is you want to lead with service. You want to help people as much as you possibly can, right? And that's how you'll build the like factor in this particular principle. You want to focus on building that long-term relationship. Don't go for the cash in, in and out quickly, right? I see people all the time on Instagram doing this. I see them on Twitter doing it. I see people on YouTube doing it. I see people on Facebook doing it. And it drives me crazy. Like, Seriously, I've gone to the point where I just ignore people who message me. They don't know me. They've added me as a friend and then they'll send something 
hey, look, we're building this multi, you know, multi-million dollar business and, and we want to bring leaders and, and, you know, entrepreneurs and, you know, groundbreakers to, to the forefront of the table and give you the opportunity to join us, you know, hey, by the way, it's only going to cost you $5,000. <laughs> Seriously, man, get the hell out of here, man. Like you haven't, you haven't, you haven't even said hello. You haven't asked how I am. You haven't looked at my profile to see how far I am in this game. Like, can you really pitch something like that to me at this point? Hell no. Like I'm putting more content out than you. What makes you think that I'm going to listen to you or would I rather listen to my seven and eight figure mentors who are telling me lead with lead with value you know build the like factor you know give people lead with service provide something of value help people resolve their problems who do you think I'm going to listen to all right so I'm just going to let that little thought marinate so the no like and trust principle the trust trust is everything without it we can forget it like, I mean, literally, like trust is the biggest factor when it comes to building a business, especially online, because people don't know you from a bar of soap. As far as they're concerned, they clicked on something and it went somewhere and they have no freaking clue what happened. You just happen to pop up. And if you pop up and go, hey, look, buy my shit. Do you really think you're going to listen? Hell no. <laughs> they ain't going to listen. I'm not going to listen. I doubt you would listen, right? It's unless, unless obviously like, say for example, like you wanted a pair of shoes or you wanted a phone. A phone is probably a better example. If you wanted a phone and you knew exactly what that phone was and all you really wanted was a cheaper price. Yeah, you're going to search online and, and take whatever option seems most legit, right? Which still, there is a factor in that. There is still a trust factor in that, right? Because in the back of your mind, you'll be thinking, shit, can I really trust these guys? Or should I just go up the road and pay twice the price and know that my telecom provider you know, is going to give me a legitimate phone, right? So there's a trust factor right there. So I'm telling you, it's a small business, like without it, you know, you can forget it. You, you really need to focus on this thing in particular. For me, how do I do it? I have three particular focuses that were given to me by my mentor that I'm now going to give to you, all right? And remember, keep in mind that this mentor cost me 5,000 US dollars. So I'm giving you like some of the best tips possible by you following this channel just to help you get your game up because I really do want to help you. I'm leading with service. I don't just preach, right? I do what it is that I'm asking you to do as well. So what I do is quality. I focus on putting out quality content, quality products, right? Quality service. And what I mean by that is I don't want to just, you know, sit down and put together like a piece of shit that has absolutely no value to anyone and then try and sell it for $7, all right? I'd rather put together like an A4 sheet of paper, maybe three, four, 500 words of something that's valuable that you could apply that's actually going to help you in your business, right? That's, that's the difference. That's my mindset as opposed to going, what's the quickest possible way I can make money from someone? Yep, I'm just going to spam them on Facebook. I'm going to send every person that I'm going to go to an entrepreneurial group and I'm going to sign up and I'm going to friend everyone and I'm going to send them my link and, you know, someone will buy. Surely someone will buy. Well, yeah, maybe like maybe one in a thousand if you're lucky, right? Wouldn't it be so much more important to connect with 10 people, make a difference in their lives and then two of them buy? Wow, what a concept, right? So, I focus on quality, right? And, and the course that, that, um, that you'll be signing up for at the end of this, 100% free, is all about quality. But I'll talk about that in just a second. Content publishing house. This is what he told me. I said, dude, I want to make a difference. You know, I understand there's no like and trust factor principle. Um, how do I go about applying it? And he said, dude, bro, you, you need to be a content publishing house. And like, Man, what the hell are you talking about, man? Like, I don't have $100,000 to set up a content publishing house. He said, no, you want to become a digital one because you are um, building an online business, right? And I'm, I'm trusting that if, if you're here, then that's probably a reason why you're putting this together as well. So he said, he said, yes, yeah, Sam, you need to become a content publishing house. You need to put out as much content as humanly possible. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, I'm not telling you to put out, you know, 10 pieces of different content every single day. But what I'm saying is put out as much valuable content as you can. Make a difference with people's lives. Again, going back to building that like, right, which is leading with value, right? Making a difference in people's lives in a positive way. So content publishing house is something that I'm really, really focused on. For example, I put together these videos. I put together a blog, a blog post. Um, I also do value posts on social media. I do uh, motivational quotes uh, on social media. I also put together um, YouTube training videos just like this. Like, not like shitty little one to two minute videos. Yes, I do those too. To put across a quick little note. Hey, this is what you want to know. I'm answering your question. But putting together in-depth trainings like this that cost me hundreds and some of them thousands to actually get into and to learn to help you build your business because I do believe in prosperity. 
right? <clears throat> Putting out as much content as I possibly can to help make a difference. Number three, being consistent. This is a principle that I just didn't quite understand the value of at the beginning. Like in my head, I'm like, well, who cares? Like if you've got a hundred videos, you've got a hundred videos. doesn't matter if you put together one every week, you know, for two years and then you've got, you know, a hundred videos or if you put together a hundred videos this week, as long as you get it out there, right? Wrong. <laughs> so especially in our, in our uh, online business, right in our virtual world, Google factor in so many things now, but one of the things that they factor in is consistency. They want to see, do you put out a blog post every single week? They want, their YouTube wants to see, do you put a video out every week? You know, are you consistent? Do you actually show up? If we send people your way, are you going to continue to show up for them? Right. And here's what, what typically happens between a six and nine month mark. Not much is going to happen between that six and nine month mark. But when you keep showing up consistently, when you keep putting stuff out there, when people continue to come back and subscribe and they want more and they listen, right? All of a sudden, bang, you break through. And there is a ton of people following what you're doing, liking what you're doing, sharing what you're doing, signing up with you as customers, and then joining you as a client, right? That's what consistency brings. You become that person, right, that people start uh, associating things with. For example, like my, my mentor, the reason he caught my attention is because every single day he puts something out of value, puts something out of value, puts something out of value, you know, whereas like... I was actually following five people at once, trying to figure out who I wanted my mentor to be. And this guy, he didn't make as much money as the other guys at that particular time. He surpassed them now. And he's actually due to like go way, way, way beyond that in the future, right? Which is why I've aligned my vision with his because I just believe in everything that he's building because he leads with so much value. He gives so much before he asks. Like he'll give you $10, right? Before he asks for one. He'll give you $100 before he asks for 10. You see what I mean? Like it's 10 times the value that you're actually asking for. When you get into what he does, it's just mind-blowing how much is actually involved, right? And that's because he was consistent. He showed up every single day. So when it came down to it, after I monitored people for three to six months, I'm like, man, this is the one dude who actually taught everything that he, he said he would. He was the one who showed up all the time. He's the one who's actually making a difference in people's lives. I can see it. People are commenting on his posts like, you know, thank you. Like this really helped me out. I'm so grateful, blah, 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 right? It's not hard. If you're going to be a little bit patient, you'll be able to see the difference and you'll be able to pick up the importance of this consistency rule think about consistency as habits right you're building the right habits you're teaching people hey if you if you need a question answered if you need somebody to help you out with this or that i'm the man right you know you can come to me i'm here i will reply to your message i'll put together a content video to answer your question i'll write a blog post right i'll address it on social media i will answer your question i'm the one to help you out all right so <clears throat> Stacking your deck. So there are three, there are uh, two things in particular you want to do. You want to lead with value, which we've already discussed. Okay, so I don't want to bring that up again, but you want to build your goodwill currency. And this is a principle that I heard from the man Frank Kern, right? Who is a multi million dollar online marketing genius with a J. <laughs> Sorry, in, inside a joke, bad, bad joke. You, if you haven't heard of Frank Kern, you'd have no clue, no idea what I'm, what I'm joking about. But anyway, he talked about building your goodwill currency, right? Which is a, a something that I really adapted when I first started out. I was so grateful that I actually heard this. Grateful, but yeah, you know, like it cost me $2,000 to grab that principle because it was on one of his course, but here I am giving to you for free. What you do, right, is you give so much that you come across as like the cool guy that allows you to build a goodwill currency, right? Like goodwill bank account, if you will. So let's say every time you do something good, you get $1. Every time you get something good, $1, $1, $1, $1. If you help a thousand people and you help them in four different ways, that's $4,000, right? Now I'm not saying in actual cash, I'm talk that's why I'm saying it's a goodwill currency. I believe very much in the law of, of, of cause and effect, right? So if you give, you will get right? What goes up must come down, so on and so forth. So <clears throat> if you continue to give, give, give and build, build, build goodwill, your business will build, right? Even if you do everything wrong, if you do this one thing right, if you actually lead with value, if you stay consistent, if you build your goodwill currency by being helpful, your business will grow whether you like it or not. The question is whether you can actually stick to it long enough until it is successful. That's where most entrepreneurs fail. Like they don't they don't understand that, hey, at the beginning, man, if you're going to go about it freeways, it's going to take nine to 18 months to build it. Like, sure, if you've got money, you can you can blow this thing up probably one or two months into it, right? If you do the right thing, if you apply the right strategy. But when you're starting from scratch, 
Nobody knows you. Nobody knows your product. Nobody knows what you're about. They have no idea like how to go about doing this 100% free. You're good. It's going to take time to learn. Right, it's gonna learn, so it's gonna take time. So it takes, you know, nine to eighteen months is what I was told by my by my mentor at the very beginning. So I'm, again, I'm really grateful for him. I know I keep turning back to him, but he's a huge part of my success, right? And I'm hoping when you join me, that it'll be the uh, the effects that he's had on me. I'm gonna be passing on to you. Like these videos, these are just we're just scratching the surface of how to get it done. Okay, so. The way you go about being cool and stacking your deck is you you use you uh, put together useful blog posts, you uh, helpful training videos like this, meaningful podcasts or SoundClouds, right, and social media value posts and so on and so forth. Make a difference in people's lives because what goes around comes around. And if you build this Goodwill Currency account big enough, it's just a matter of time before you're going to be you're going to stack your deck and you're going to be able to blow up like financially. Okay, all I ask is that you keep that longer term picture in mind like i said focus on that long-term relationship so what do you do now i'm going to tell you man opt in for my course to help you build your internet business my seven step plan to grow your audience and create a hyper engaged email list is going to help you irrespective of where you're at in your journey whether you're a starter whether you're halfway through maybe even if you're having some sort of success that's great but this is going to help you build like literally email marketing is so important right it's it really as you hear about uh, the money is in the list well that's not true um, the money is actually in the relationship that you build with that list so this is a seven step plan to help you grow that audience and create a hyper engaged email list like imagine for a second i had my first uh, 1600 plus dollar sale right online with an email list of only six people right i got my second sale of 1250 dollars that was uh, when I had 12 people on my email list, right? So this email thing is something that I've figured out and I wanna help pass that message on to you because I know it's gonna make a big difference in your business. You lead with value, right? You, you build this know, like, and trust factor and it's gonna make a hell of a difference in your business. And the way you go about doing that is you build your audience, just like I'm gonna show you in this uh, in this seven day autos, auto responder series, and you create a hyper engaged email list, people that are really, that are ready and willing to buy from you right you got to tell me that as sound good come on man you got to be <laughs> you got to be ready to opt into that list so look if it doesn't show up on the screen check out in the link below how to go about getting this 100% free so I can help make a difference in your business in your life I appreciate you so much stopping by and watching this video so take care much love and I'll talk to you again soon